hello you guys uh, welcome back to my channel and happy new week today it's a monday the 19th of august so i actually filmed this video on the 18th of august yesterday i was like oh it's been long since i did a sunday reset with you guys and share my life with you mostly on the sundays because my helper is not there so sundays i actually usually wake up in the morning and everything is a mess because we usually have fridays movies and saturdays movies so mostly that sundays everything is a mess and sunday is a day where we are supposed to go to church so and do everything alone uh so what i usually do i wake up tidy up the house make breakfast and uh, we go to church but unfortunately yesterday on the 18th of august we didn't go to church i uh, one day my other twin um he wasn't feeling very well i think he because today he's actually down with flu so it was flu so i just i uh, didn't want him to to go and mingle and also spread the flu virus to other kids so yeah as you can see the weather was actually good yesterday it was good nairobi is usually cold nowadays especially in the morning it's cold in the evenings it's cold so it times we have to put on a light sweater in the house and even in the house it's usually cold so you have to put on a, a light sweater and yeah so yeah i am here tidying up uh the living room area it was actually it wasn't that uh, messy though so we just uh tidying up uh making sure that the cushions are okay and everything is in order as you know i've got four kids so the house is usually a mess especially weekends fridays saturdays and um, sundays is usually a mess because we just like to watch movies on netflix and just enjoy and we just like to play so a dirty house is a happy home <laughs> i don't know but i just like uh, you know my kids to have fun and just enjoy not to just keep on following them like hey don't do that to my cushions don't sit on my couch i remember when we were growing up we don't allowed to sit on my sofa on on couches or on sofas we would just sit on the floor even if there was no carpet you just sit on the floor so growing up it was like that so um, i don't want <laughs> that especially with my kids nowadays it's something that is not outdated if you still insist your kids sit down if like not on the couch then hey, my sister or my brother then you have to think again because really when i'm looking at it now i'm like but why really and you have bath and what but they they are yeah, we would just sit down we we'll just sit down but anyway maybe they our parents had their own reasons especially maybe times we come back from playing and we want to sit on the couch things like that uh so yeah and uh yeah with our kids nowadays they are really outside you know so they're always indoors so they're always clean or when they come back from school they take a shower and what so yeah they just sit on the couch and, and and they enjoy life so yeah that is it in today's video guys i just wanted to share with you my uh sunday routine or sunday reset so that we can start a new week sundays my opa is not there so it's only me running my house managing my house and uh, just tidying up making sure that everything is just in order so that we can have a blessed a day where everything is just a clean and neat so if you're new to my channel my name is brenda i'm a wife and stay home mom to four beautiful kids i'm in nairobi i'm actually from zim yeah from zimbabwe the southern part of africa and i really miss home i, I i'm missing home so much especially nowadays but i'm in africa which is the good thing so yeah that is it in today's video guys i hope you you are gonna enjoy this video and let me know if you went to church yesterday and uh what you you learned yesterday for me actually what i did or if i don't go to church on the sundays i like to i think i should have filmed that but i didn't i just like to put some worship songs where i can worship or praise a songs where i can just dance in the house we have got a uh, nice uh, music gospel music collection that i like to to listen to or dance to on especially on sundays if i hadn't go to church or if we hadn't gone to church 
so i just uh, listen and i dance and i just worship by so doing i just feel great and blessed so let me know in the comment section what do you listen to on sundays if you don't go to church sundays or saturdays if you don't go to on your on your seventh day um worship day of worship what do you do in the house what type of music do you listen to for me if i listen to that music and i just listen to the word of god i will worship and i've prayed god on a sunday yeah but i know it's good to go to church and fellowship with others yeah don't get me wrong there yeah so just a small update on my rug this rug that i bought i think i bought it three months back if i'm not mistaken i think it's three months back uh, guys to be honest with you i'm loving this rug when i bought it uh, i bought it with regrets i was like oh my god am i going to manage this rug with cream couch and also a cream a cream rug but uh cream beiges yeah and also cream beiges rug i don't know if i'm gonna manage it but to be honest with you it is it, it, it's still it's it it's not that very dirty actually it's you can't even see that it's dirty even when you are lie you see it life you can't even see that it's dirty and i really really don't regret actually buying this rug if um if i have to or if i got money i'll buy another one in my bedroom because i really really like it so much and i love it and uh it's so stylish so i really like this rug uh, to be honest with you that is my review and um it's just a nice uh, fashionable rug that i would recommend actually if you're actually thinking of buying it if you're in nairobi or anywhere else in south africa you can also actually buy it mm. you can actually buy it so yeah so i was just gonna tie it up sweeping there is actually no mopping there was no mopping yesterday on a sunday because i don't want to waste my time mopping or cleaning or deep cleaning like i have to really clean and mop the whole house i know i i that wasn't my intention and i don't do that on 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 on, on sundays or unless if there is need if i see that is there is some stain or anything that that, that can stain the floor that's when i can actually mop the floor but if there is no need like uh, yesterday there was no need i just wanted to sleep and then uh, go on with uh, my day because i had a lot of cooking actually so also stay tuned for more cooking in uh, this um cleaning uh, uh, vlog guys so yeah it is what it is on sunday to be honest with you i don't know why my, my camera was it moving or something it was checking I am actually using another uh, tripod as then that here. <laughs> this tripod stand I'm actually noticing now that it was shaking. It was happening. <laughs> I'm actually noticing now that it was shaking, guys. My other tripod broke, like really, really broke. So I'm using a, a pink tripod for my daughter. So it it, it, it it's um, a single like single legged tripod. It doesn't uh it doesn't have enough balance so i'm actually noticing now that it was shaking anyways it it, it did it's work <laughs> yesterday so actually um my daughter as you can see on the table update on my table now if you can see the scratch on your left there my daughter is the one who just uh, she just uh I don't, I don't know what she okay she said she put a silly tape on the table and then she pulled the what she was trying to remove so she pulled when she was pulling the the cello tape uh the what do you call it um the the, the 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 table finishing the finishing of the table peeled off so yeah 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 my table is actually not wood really really um wood the finishing yeah so that's what i actually noticed and uh, that is actually a uh, one of my regrets actually on that table so when you're buying a uh, furniture guys uh, make sure that you're buying something that is durable especially when it comes to dining tables and what because now i need to fix that to patch that that area or we have to remove the finishing and we put another finishing on top maybe i'll go for a white finishing now that i'm actually talking here i think i'll go for it i don't know if this going is gonna match 
with the but i know it's gonna match with the gray mm, chairs if i put white there maybe it's actually going to brighten that area i'll see about it so that is it today in today's video guys i think i'm actually talking too much so don't forget to subscribe to this youtube uh video um to this uh, youtube channel guys and also give this video a click So moving over to my kitchen i just wanted to tidy up and also wash the dishes and clean the stove i clean the stove and um wash the dishes and i'm gonna do make some pancakes and also cook our dinner with you guys so just a small update on what i own in this kitchen so i bought these uh kitchen towels i think i bought four of them last week i just uh, saw them in town and i love them they were going for 199 kenyan shillings which is 200 kenyan shillings i just loved the color i just love the quality of of these uh dish towels and you know when you buy something and you are so happy about it this is one of the things that i bought actually and i'm so happy about these dish towels to be honest with you dish towels are really really important in your kitchen if you don't have dish towels if you've got one or two so make sure that you also stock your dish towels i know some we've got 20 dish towels 15 dish towels different types and different kinds so you can also actually have a collection of dish towels like blue dish towels that is some um, blue with blue and white blue scotch blue you know polka dot something like that and can you have your red if it's a red you can have a set of red dish towels if you want black you need a set of black beautiful dish towels just make everything look so nice when you put it there or maybe if there's a special occasion or if there's something just having your things in order that's what i noticed so i'm i, I, I was actually happy and then when i bought them in town and uh, if i go back to town again i don't know when i'll go back <laughs> though it was you know 
in a town nairobi town guys it's a busy busy place and you really have to be careful when you are walking in nairobi town and um but you can find very very affordable things but you need to know where you are going and just like in every other country you have to check your surroundings if you are okay if you are safe yeah so usually i you like i, I like to use a cash when i'm going to places like town cbd or when i'm going to places like easily uh, where there are crowded places so that i don't have to use my phone often so i like to use cash so yeah i just wanted to update you guys that i bought some new kitchen towels for someone it might not be a big deal but to me it's actually a big deal because i love them and the quality is just good just as you love your car or as you like your new pedicure or whatever so for me <laughs> i really really love my towels and i feel good and i felt great like after buying it they were like oh really i bought them they're so nice i was so happy if you know what i'm actually saying <laughs> then you know what i mean so yeah that is guys i go ahead and i wipe down my uh i wipe the dishes everything that i've washed and i put them back where they belong so that the kitchen looks clean guys on sundays i'm alone i don't want to lie and say ah uh, hey what what yeah i'm alone so i have to make sure that i tidy up the house and i clean i wash the dishes so that when i start cooking i don't have mess and um i noticed actually yesterday my kids were really really helping me in the kitchen you will see it in the vlog washing the dishes the potatoes they really really helped and i was actually i didn't i was so happy i'm like oh wow god my kids have grown up they've really really grown up they can now assist me in the kitchen or with other things which is a great thing to be honest with you
so my kids are pancake lovers they really really love pancakes like every day they can eat pancakes every day so here i was actually making pancakes for them and uh i wasn't following any measurements by the way i think i've been making pancakes for this holiday almost every day if it's a I, or maybe maybe four times a week yeah, i would make pancakes so um, they really love pancakes compared to bread because it's bread they'll need a, a jam they'll need uh, eggs they'll need um, butter of which they don't like jam they don't like butter they don't like peanut butter or margarine so pancakes they are good to go because um mostly they'll just eat pancakes and they drink their whatever chocolate tea and they eat their fruits if there is any fruit if there are no fruits there are no fruits and i'm so blessed to be honest with you with my kids if there are no fruits there are no fruits they'll just tell you mommy the fridge is empty oh <laughs> there are no fruits that's it uh they don't cry or start nagging about anything so i'm so blessed about that to be honest with you uh like they understand the situation if there's nothing at that moment then that means there's no nothing yeah if <clears throat> yeah i hope you understand because there are some kids they won't even understand if you tell them they are no fruits or there is what but for my kids i don't want to lie they really do understand the situation if maybe there are no fruits because i didn't buy or there are no fruits because there's no money for me to buy the fruits because usually i set aside something for fruits for maybe every week so usually they'll eat fruits like i don't want to lie like oranges they can finish oranges mm -hmm. <laughs> within a short space of time so at times are like no i'm not buying i'll buy them maybe friday for for the weekend then when it's the wednesday that is what we actually do then they'll eat other fruits like uh maybe watermelon watermelon is not that expensive so they can eat watermelons so yeah that is what i uh, i usually do so on this man on sunday morning we were making pancakes and they really enjoyed pancakes i just added a little bit of cinnamon and some chocolate um, chips that are actually added for their uh, pancake
first supper we were going we were having beef um beef stew uh potato mashed potatoes and salsa or ugali so that's what we were having so for my beef stew what i did i added my beef my beef in a big pot and <clears throat> i put a little bit of some water and now i'm seasoning the beef i'm not going to fry this beef because yeah i'm not going to fry it so it's just a uh, boiling and making sure that uh, the the beef is well cooked and the, the stew is nice and uh, delicious so i just go ahead eat everything is i add uh, my spices especially ginger and garlic and a little bit of salt and some no cubes if i yeah i added also no cubes and i let it boil for a little bit so now i go ahead and prep my vegetables for my vegetables i'm going to be adding some carrots a green pepper uh tomatoes and onion i will also add a piece when my stew is about to, 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 be, to, to be okay so i add a piece a green piece and i just let it cook i simmer it at a very low heat so that it cooks well because you don't want it to smell of reiko and uncooked spices mm -hmm. i don't like the smell of reiko so i make sure that whatever i cook when i add reiko I have to make sure that it cooks well. I give it each time to cook, guys, because a reiko, a raw reiko makes the food not, it just makes the food not taste good. Yeah, I hope you understand. So I just give myself time when I'm cooking things or if, when I'm adding uh, spices to make sure that the spices are well cooked and well incorporated in the food that you are cooking.
for my stew was a well cooked. I put it aside, and now I was cooking uh, sada or ugali, and uh, also some mashed potatoes. I have, I was done uh, cooking them, so this is our sada, guys. We love sada. We love sada so much. Or ugali, yeah. We love it so so much. So. But I try not to eat it. We don't eat it actually every day. We eat it once or twice a week. Yeah, yeah. That is how much we eat it. But, um, excuse me. We, yeah, we eat ugali. We, we, we love it. It actually tastes good. I don't know what, what, so, you know, what is it with ugali, but it has got a, a taste of its own. And then this is my mashed potatoes that I made and they were so nice and so, so tasty. Unfortunately, I didn't have um, margarine, so I just added um, oil and, uh, and and salt. And to be honest, it tasted so good because I asked my kids what they wanted to have. They said we want to have um, pot mashed potatoes and stew. So that's what I made for them. Then for me and hubby, it's ugali and stew. So I didn't cook any vegetables. To be honest with you, I was feeling lazy to cook vegetables. But I was so happy because they ate and finished everything. Especially even my husband ate the meat. And ugali, he didn't complain that, can you pick it, uh, some vegetables? And no, he ate and I'm so grateful. And my kids also ate. I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful, guys. Just to have food on your table, we should just be thankful because there's someone out there who can't even afford a meal for a day. And I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful for the meals that, for the food that God provides for us each and every day. If you can manage to still have two or three meals a day, that is a blessing. If it's not forced fasting, that is a blessing. Some people are just forced to fast because of the situation. Either you are sick, you are, you are supposed to fast, maybe to go for operation, or maybe <clears throat> there's nothing for you to eat. It's a 001 meal or 0101 meal where we say you cannot have lunch, you cannot have breakfast, you'll have your lunch and then uh, no supper. There was a time like that actually in life, uh, especially when I was in college. It was a very difficult year for students at that time, university students, uh, 2007, 2008. Some students survived with the 010, yeah, 010, no breakfast, lunch, no supper. It was just like that. So what I'm actually trying to say, if you can eat meals, three meals a day, it's a blessing. Some they skip meals because of healthy reasons. Some also skip meals because they are trying to lose weight. I also do that at times. I don't eat my breakfast. This is not forced fasting. It's a, 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 a thing that I want to do. You understand? But what I'm saying is if you can still manage to have three meals, breakfast, tea, bread, then or whatever, and then lunch, you can still have something. You have got choice, choice to choose what you want to eat. That is actually a blessing and we have to be thankful and grateful. It's just that us as human beings, we like to complain a lot. But what I can say is give thanks to God each and every day. So I finished cooking my, my food. It was about time to, to actually uh, dish out the food for my family. So we were having oranges after them eating their supper it's just good to just have some 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 you know fruits for them so i had some oranges i had to cut oranges for them so that after they eat their supper they can just enjoy in the comfort of their home and eat some oranges guys so guys that is it on my sunday reset um how i spend the sundays with my family 
it's just the same like if i don't if i go to church and if i don't go to church it's the same routine the difference is i've gone to church but usually i just make sure that i cook for my family i clean the house i cook the bath we go to church we come back i cook lunch i cook lunch or supper depends the time we are back yeah that is it and then um it's just the same routine each and every sundays so i was just dishing out the food um the mashed potatoes and uh, they really, really loved the mashed potatoes and yeah they couldn't tell the difference between the when the mashed potatoes they uh butter or not they finished everything <laughs> Ah, you guys okay so this is what i've got for you on today's video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i uh, give this video a like or a thumbs up and thank you always for coming back to my channel and to my returning subscribers thank you so much to my new subscribers thank you for tuning in and for watching my videos and i pray that you have a blessed week ahead of you blessed and productive week <clears throat> ahead of you and may god bless you and grant you all the wishes that you have i pray for good health for you and your families may god bless you always may you always trust in the lord in whatever that you do may you always seek his face in, on every day in everything that you do may god bless you so 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 much guys i love you so much and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i see you guys in my next upload bye